Welcome to the Monday, February 25th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online. In today's video, find out the latest cold storage figures of U.S. red meat and poultry, and later, a look at our HRI Movers of the Week. Now, let's look at the markets with your host, Russell Barton. Last week, Darden Restaurants reported that it expects same-store sales at its three major chains to be down for its fiscal third quarter, which ended on February 24th. The company said it expects combined same-store sales from its Olive Garden, Red Lobster, and Longhorn Steakhouse restaurants to be down 4.5% for the quarter. Darden's chairman and CEO, Clarence Otis, attributed the company's poor third quarter predictions to severe weather that impacted restaurant traffic. Additionally, the CEO of the Orlando-based chain said a hike in payroll taxes and gasoline prices hurt U.S. consumers' discretionary spending for the quarter. Darden is expected to release its official third quarter earnings report on March 22nd. For more details on Darden's lackluster third quarter performance and for other center-of-the-plate protein news, head over to foodmarket.com. Now here's Erna Berry's advertising account manager, Terrence Wells, reporting on increases in frozen U.S. red meat and poultry stocks according to the USDA's latest cold storage report. Frozen U.S. pork supplies fell just short of an all-time record in January, while overall frozen red meat and poultry supplies finished the month up. According to the USDA's February 2013 cold storage report, total red meat supplies in freezers were up 7% from the previous month and up 2% from last year. Total pounds of beef in freezers were up 4% from the previous month, but down slightly from last year. Meanwhile, at 605.2 million pounds, frozen pork supplies led red meat increases in this month's report, with supplies up 10% from the previous month and up 3% from last year. It should be noted that this figure is just marginally below the all-time record of frozen pork supplies of 606.9 million pounds, falling short of a Dow Jones prediction that January pork supplies would set an all-time record. As for total frozen poultry, U.S. supplies were up 5% from the previous month and up 12% from a year ago. Total stocks of chicken were down 3% from the previous month, but up 8% from last year. Total pounds of turkeys in freezers were up 22% both from last month and from January 31st, 2012. To see the USDA's complete cold storage report, including the 2012 annual summary, head on over to Comtel and click Supply Data under the Red Meat tab. Thanks, Terrence. Now to wrap up today's video, we take a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's Erner Berry staff writer Michael Ramsing with the Movers of the Week for February 19th through February 25th. Kicking off last week's All Red Movers of the Week is the pork market. For the second week in a row, ground pork prices reflected the broader pork market direction as availability outweighed the pace of movement. As a result, ground pork fell nearly 4% over the course of the week. Moving over to the egg complex, the shell egg market continued to decline from peaks hit early in February this week, but prices are now settling. Large values have come off by more than 4% since our last report, as production begins to ramp up for Easter and buyers purchase the hand to mouth until prices bottomed. This seems to be the case now as we draw near to the holiday and sellers grow more confident in their positions. Turning now to the box beef market, ground beef pricing over the past few weeks was under some slight negative pressure, a typical seasonal event right now after the National Football League's major event, the Super Bowl. Prices start to rebound after they take a brief hiatus, and indications of a move higher has surfaced. Rounding out our movers of last week is the poultry market. Fresh chicken wing prices have declined significantly over the past few weeks, and our HRI values reflect this weakness in a close to 6% move lower. The catalysts of this scenario have been lackluster post-Super Bowl demand patterns and more than adequate levels of supply. To see our entire HRI Movers of the Week report, be sure to log on to Comtel and click Library under the Red Meat, Poultry, Seafood, or Egg tabs. Thanks, Michael. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high-definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.